Hi, my name is Dan Larritsen, and I'm going to walk you through how to best buy LED lights for your premises. Now, I'm going to show you our PS UFO Max as a demonstration and show you what to look out for when you buy LED lights for your site. The first thing you want to look out for is the energy efficiency of your fittings. Usually traditional lights have got less than 100 lumen per watt output. Now just to put that into perspective, this fitting provides 185 lumen per watt energy efficiency. That is unrivaled top of the range. Usually LED lights are somewhere between 100 and 185 lumen per watts. And the higher lumen per watt you get, the more money you will save on your energy bill. The second thing you want to look out for is how many LED chips is actually on the fitting. Now, our fittings usually have got between 450 and 900 LED chips. Now, that's important when your fittings hit the five year mark. So they've lasted for five years. At some certain point, some of the LED chips are not gonna be performing optimally anymore. The more chips you've got, the longer they'll last and the less impact you will have of a few of the fit, uh, chips failing. The next thing you wanna look for is the driver. The driver is the heart of LED fittings. They determine how long time are they gonna last. Usually you wanna make sure that you're using a high quality driver and that will usually push up the price quite significantly because the drivers is a huge part of a, a huge costly component if you want to use a good quality one that will last longer, right? A good quality driver will last a minimum of five years, if not seven or ten. And we'll get back to that. Another thing I want to get back to is sensors. Sensors have become hugely popular in the last few years and with good reason because there are so many benefits to sensors. On this fitting, the PS UFO Max, we have both motion sensors as well as daylight sensors. So I'll walk you through both of these. The motion sensors basically detect if there's any movement within your area, let's say between 15 meters away from the fitting, right? So you've got an aisle and you haven't got that much movement all the time. You've got a guy in a forklift coming in on a regular basis. Every time he comes in, when he's 15 meters away, the lights will turn on and they'll be stay turned on between one, three or five minutes, depending on what you need. After that, they'll dim down or turn all the way off. All of this can be preset. But imagine that you have a warehouse running 24 seven and you've got, you know, aisle number 35 where people only come in, let's say once a day, the rest of the time the lights would traditionally be on. With these sensors, they will turn on when somebody enters the aisle, five minutes later, they'll turn on, dim down and turn off, and you will have saved loads of energy. Not to talk about the lifespan of the fitting, because with LED lights, the more that they're turned off, the longer they'll last. And that's why we love sensors, because not only do they save a lot of money on the energy efficiency, but they also make the light fittings last longer by using them less. This fitting has also got daylight sensors. Now there's a new regulation, at least in the UK, where all new warehouses will need to have minimum 25% of their roof covered by skylights. Which means that most of the new buildings that you'll see can benefit from having daylight harvesting sensors. They work like this. Whenever the sun is shining and you have more than 300 locks inside your warehouse, 
these fittings will dim down and turn off. In the summertime, you might have sunshine more than 12 hours a day. And hence, these fittings will be off more than 12 hours a day. That's another 50% saving on your energy consumption. And another prolongedness of the lifespan of your fitting. For, to me, that's just a no-brainer, right? The last thing I wanna go through is that recently we've started to add remote controls to all of our high bays. And there's a good reason for that. Now, first of all, if you wanna make any changes to the sensor settings of your fittings, you will need to get up to 10 meters height where the high bays are usually um, installed with, with, without a, a remote control. That means that you will need to get a lifter and two men to go up there. It's going to take a long time and it's going to be a lot of hassle. With this remote control, you can stand on the ground, you can push the button and you will change the settings of the fitting. You can change the set out, uh, standby settings to three, two, one minute or five minute, whatever you need. The other fit thing that you want to use this for is that you can actually dim up and dim down the lights. So usually when we install these PS UFO Max, the clients requires 300 lux. Well, our fittings are really, really powerful and usually we'll be providing somewhere between 300 and 500 lux. So if you want to save a bit more energy, we'll just take your remote control and we'll dim it down to say 350 lux, whatever suits the workers on your site. That's an additional energy saving right there. This is really, really valuable. And we provide it free of charge with all of our high bay fittings. Anyways, you know, I hope that this got, gave you some useful information. And if you want to know, know more, then reach out to us at www.polarislight.com. Looking forward to having a chat. Thanks, guys.